Hello guys, welcome to Deco Mohammed official YouTube channel name. I'm your host, none other than Deco Mohammed. Today's topic is on advanced management accounting under the topic of safety of stock. Remember, advanced management accounting is initially it was tested in CPA section 5 under CASNEP. But with the new syllabus, the advanced management accounting is now found on, is found on advanced level but it is under specialization. So today, I, want, I would like to tackle a question that was tested on CASNET November 2019. November 2019, question 2P. So if you have a, a software you can download, if you have the, that uh, PDF, you can download in the CASNET, uh, in the CASNET portal or in the CASNET uh, website, November 2019, question 2P. But I will still read out for you so that I tackle it, that question, safety of stock. The question goes like this. Kiawara Limited maintains a perpetual inventory system. The economic order quantity E or Q model has established an economic order quantity of 3,000 units with an average daily usage of 100 units and lead time of 20 days for each single input product branded Z. The following information relates to the usage of the product Z during the reorder period. We have the usage during the reorder period in units. We have the number of times the quantity is used. 1800, 1900, 2000, 2100, 2200, 2300. We have 34, 40, 90, 20, 10, 6. Additional information. Stock out cost amount to 400 by unit. The optimum number of orders, the, num the optimum number of order based on the EOQ model is five times per annum. The annual current cost is 80 per unit required. Advise the management of Kiawara Limited on the amount of stock to be maintained. Number two, determine the probability of a stock out cost. As I said initially, this question was, that was tested on November 2019, so you can see download. So I like to solve the question. Remember, this is on the, on the safety of stock. There are some formulas you need to know. First of all, we need to calculate the, the reorder level. We need to know what is the reorder level. Remember, reorder level, reorder level, reorder level is equal to, we take the number of orders number of orders time is the lead time we take the number of orders time is the lead time that is sorry it is the daily usage not the number of orders we take the daily usage daily usage time is the lead time sorry for the mistake for you to get the reorder level, you take the daily usage. The formula for reorder level is daily usage times the lead time. In the equation, we are given the daily usage. We are told a daily usage of 100 units. In the equation, we are told a daily usage of 100 and a lead time of 20. So we take 100 by 20, which comes to 2000. That gives us the the reorder level. The next thing is to come up with the probability. The next, the next step is to get the probability. Remember, we are not being given the probability. So we need to calculate the probability. How we are going to do it? Uh, you get the total of this number of times the quantity is used. Let's get the total. You take uh, 34, 34 plus 40 plus 90 plus 20, plus 10, plus 6. The total is 200. The total is 200. So you take, you take, for you to get the probability for number one, you take that 34 divided by the total, which is 34 divided by 200, 0 0.17. So the pro probability for 1800 is 0 0.17. We do the same for 40. 40 divided by 200, that comes to 0 0.2. 0 0.2 next is 90 divided by 200 that comes to 0 0.45 next is 20 divided by 200 that comes to 0 0.1 then we have 10 
10 divided by 200, 0 0.05. Then 6 divided by 200 comes to 0 0.03. If you add up, they must give you 1. Let's add them 0 0.03 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.17. 1. Correct. So, that is the how we get the probability. Remember, some questions, they give you the probability direct. But like this question, we have not been given the probability. That's why we have to get the number, the total number of times the quantity is used. Then each one you divide with the total for you to get the probability. Since we have the probability, we also have the reorder level. Now, we need to calculate the, the stock out cost. We are, we are going to draw a table. Before that, before I draw, before I draw the table, remember that our reorder level was 2,000. It means, remember this table, our focus is going to be 2,000 and above. So we are not going to tackle 1,800 and 1,900. Now, that was the purpose of getting the reorder level. We are going to focus on the reorder level and then any figure that is above the reorder level. So we are not going to use 1800 and 1900 because it is less than the reorder level. So let's take the, let's start with the reorder level. We are going to draw a table. We are going to start with the reorder level. The reorder level. Reorder level. That is the table that I'm going to get. Then, next thing that we are going to draw is the safety stock. Safety stock. Safety stock. Then next is the holding cost. Holding. Holding cost. Next is the holding cost. Then we have the stock out cost. We have the stock out cost. Stock out cost. Then we have the total cost. Total cost. So we are going to start with the roller label, which is. 2000 there is no safety stock because it is 2000 at the reorder level there is no holding cost here because we are not there is no safety stock that we, that we should hold now stock out cost this is the formula we are going this is how we are going to calculate the stock out cost stock out cost stock out cost for you to get the stock out cost you need to take the, the shortage, we are going to check the shortage times the probability times the stock out cost. I think it was given on the question. Yes, we are given on the question. Yeah. Times the stock out cost times the number of orders. Times the number of orders. Yeah. Times the number of orders number of orders so for us to get the stock out cost we are going to take the the shortage times the probability times the stock out cost times the number of orders now let's start with the remember our reorder level is 2000 and these are the figures that we are focusing on these are the figures that we are focusing on i can just write them here uh 2000 let me write them down like it down here we have 2,000, we also have 2,100, we have 2,200, we have 2,300. This is the probability that, that we have calculated. For 2,000 it was 0 0.45, for 2,100 it was 0 0.1, for 2,200 it was 0 0.05. Remember this probability we have calculated. For 2300 it is 0 0.03. This is our main focus. Now, when it is, this is our reorder level. Now, it means here, when, it, when we are focusing on these three, the first one, the shortage is how much? You take you less than 100 from 2000. The shortage there is 100. 100. Multiply by the probability. The probability for the 100 is 0 0.1. Multiply by the stock out cost. It was given on the question. Under additional information, we are told that number two, 
number one, sorry, number one. The stock out cost amount to 400 by unit. That is the stock out cost we are going to use. It is going to be the same throughout. Also, we are given on the number two, the optimum number of orders is five times. So, that's also given on the question. So, we are, we are told that the stock out cost is 400 and the number of orders is five. So, those only are going to be same throughout. So, yeah, it is 400 times five. Times five. So, it's, it's coming to how much? If I take uh, 100 times 0 0.1 times 400 times five. It's coming to 20,000. This comes to 20,000. Next, it is 200. You for us to get the shortage, you take you take this from the the real level. 2200 minus 2000. That is 200. That comes to 200. Then you multiply that with the the probability, which is 0 0.0.05. Then times the stock out cost, which is 400. Then times 5, which was the number of orders. So we take 200, 200 times 0 0.05 times 400 times 5. That comes to 20,000. It comes to 20,000. Next, it is 2300. For us to get the shortage, you take 2300 subtract from 2000. It will come to 300. Then what I that with the 0. Point Sorry, the probability for it, it is 0 0.03, 0 0.03, then take times 400, times 5. Remember, we said the stock out cost and the number of orders is going to remain the same throughout. 300 times 0 0.03, times 400, times 5, which come to 18,000. It come to 18,000. So the total cost under the 2,000, total cost, it is 20,000 plus 20, which is 40. 40, you take 40 plus 18. You take 40,000 plus 18. That comes to 58,000. It comes to 58,000. Yes, 58,000. This comes to 58,000. Next, we are done with this. Next is 2,100. We have 2,100. So when you're using 2100, we only have two shortage, 22 and 23. So the first, before that, the safety stock is how much? How, which, how many number of stock are we going to maintain? You take 2000 minus this, you take 2100 minus 2000, that is 100. So we'll have 100 safety stock. Holding cost, we are told in the, in the question number three, the additional information under number three, we are told that, the annual carrying cost is 80 per unit. That is the holding cost is 80 per unit. So we are going to multiply this 100 by 80. That comes to 8,000. 8, so that is the same stock you subtract this from the, the other level. Then the holding cost was 80. So you take that safety stock by that 80, you get the, the holding cost. Now we are going to calculate the stock out cost. Then we use the same formula. We take the shortage times the probability times the stock out cost times the number of orders. So student, that's how we are going to do it. So we are focusing on, we are done with 2000, our next is 2100. So 2100 we are going to have two shortage, 22 and 23. The first one is 2200 subtract from 2100, it is 100. Since we are using 22, the probability for 22 is 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Then times 400, which is stock out cost, times 5, which was the number of orders. So if I take, if I take 100, 100 times 0 0.05, times 400, times 5, that comes to 10,000, 10,000. Then next, we are using 2300. So 2300 minus 2100, it is 200. 200 times 0 0.03 times 0 0.03 times 400 times 5. This comes to how much? 200, 200 times 0 0.03 times 400 times 5. This comes to 12,000, 12,000. So let's get the total cost here. It is 8,000 plus 10, that is 18. 18 plus 12, 
18,000 plus 12,000 that comes to 30,000. So next, next, next cost is 30,000. Yes, next cost is 30,000. We are done with the 2100. So we are go to we go to the next, which is 2200. Then our simply stock is 2200 minus 2000. That is 200. Our holding cost is 200 by 80 since. The holding cost by unit was 80, so we take 200, 200 by 80, that is 16,000. It comes to 16,000. We are going to get the stock out cost. Since it is 2,200, we are going to have only one shortage, which is 2,300. So the difference there is 100, 23 minus, uh, 2,300 minus 22. The shortage is 100 times the probability which is 0 0.03 times the stock out cost which is 400 times 5 which is the number of orders this comes to how much? Uh, 100 times 0 0.03 times 400 times 5 that is 6,000 6,000, yes, 6,000 now to get the total cost we add 6,000 plus 16 6,000 Plus 16,000. That comes to 22,000. It comes to total cost here is 22,000. We are done with 2200. We go to the last one, which is 2300. Here we are going to have 300 of safety stock because we are going to subtract 2300 minus 2000. Then here it is 300 by 80. 300 by 80. That comes to how much? 300 by 80. 24,000. This comes to 24,000. So there is no stock out cost we are going to calculate because it is doing 300 there is no stock out. then the total cost here is 24,000 so we are done now the first question was asking about advise the management on the amount of stock to be maintained so the amount of stock that we are going to maintain is the one which has the least cost the CVD stock is the one which has the least cost. Remember here we have total cost of 58,000, 30,000, 22,000 and 24,000. So the least cost here is 22,000. So this 22 correspond to 2200. So we are going to say CVD stock is 2200. Our CVD stock is 2200 because that is the one which has the least cost. Number two, we are told that determine the probability of the stock out cost so what's the probability of this uh CBD stock it is 0 0.03 0 0.03 that's how the question is done i hope you enjoyed the class it was just a brief class on the november 2019 question 2b castnet advanced management accounting as i said this unit initially it was under section 5 but now with the new CASREP syllabus it is found on the advanced level but it is under specialization i was your host none other than beko mohammed thank you for watching